Hello Internet people, do you get this annoying warning about that your site is not secured? Or even worse, you get this huge warning that it's really not secured and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, in this video, I'll show you how to install an SSL certificate on your GoDaddy and it's totally free. And I'll be using Let's Encrypt and also an online tool to get it all secured. I'll be using GoDaddy as an example, but this will work on any web host that has a C panel. And at the end, I'll show you how to redirect all your users from HTTP to HTTPS so that all the people see the same site and always secure it. It's showtime. Tape sweat punch. The SSL certificate is totally free and it's provided by an organization called Let's Encrypt. The only drawback is that you need to renew it every 90 days and I did this for about a year and a half, but then I got a bit tired of updating it so often for many domains. So I decided I bought a cheap uh, SSL certificate from Namecheap. They go for about $9 a year. So now I only need to update this every year. If you're interested in that, then check out the link here. It should appear somewhere here. But other than that, let's get started with this tutorial. So head to Google and type in punch salad SSL generator or just click on the first link in the description of this video. And you get this uh, tool that I built and uh, it should be the first option, just says SSL certificate generator punch salad. So click on that one and you'll end up on this page. So what you need to do here is you need to fill in your domain name. And in this case, I'm gonna use linktopost.net and don't forget to add a comma and then the www variation of your domain like this what's your domain name get out of here get out of here man brought to you by get out of here .com. now if you have subdomain just one or two then you can just uh, add a comma and then uh, add this uh, subdomains if you have a lot of subdomains, then you need to use something called wildcard SSL certificate. And that just means you need to add a star dot and then your domain. And the star just replaces all the subdomains. The only thing with this, if you add uh, the wildcard one, then you have to verify this a bit differently. In that case, you need to use DNS. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to do the HTTP. And for DNS verification, check the link in the description. All right, so keep those then, and then just enter your email address. And don't worry, you're not gonna get emails like this. I need some money, immediately. Money, this is not a bank, I know. And then just accept the uh, terms and conditions and click on create free SSL certificate. And you can see now here, it's telling you, okay, we're trying to verify these two variations of your domain. And that means you need to download these two files. Just click on these buttons, save, same thing with the other one. Okay. Next, we will head to GoDaddy and place those two files we just downloaded and put it on our web server. So just go to godaddy.com and then sign in. Here, under web hosting, click on manage. And if you don't see this page, just come from this mosaic and click on manage my products. You'll end up on the same page. Just click on manage. And then you need to click on cPanel admin. If you don't have this button, it might be that you don't have cPanel. That's usually when you have GoDaddy's managed WordPress account. Uh, so they don't come with cPanel and then you need to use another way to actually get an SSL certificate. And you can do that with Cloudflare. Just check out the video that appears in your screens, top right corner right now. So you can also create an SSL certificate that way. And probably people with managed WordPress are feeling like this. One ugly motherfucker. I know. This is our cPanel and we're going to need the file manager so let's click on it. This is file manager. And in here, if you click on public HTML, you'll see more files like this. Just check that here in the top right corner, click on settings and here that you have show hidden files. Otherwise you might miss some files that you need in this tutorial. So just check this box and then save. Okay, so now comes a bit tricky part. If this is your primary domain, 
this is where you create this this folder dot well dash known but since this is not my primary domain i'm going to install it on this add-on domain it's called linktopos.net i'm going to go inside of it and in here what you need to do at the top here click on folder give it a name well dash known and it has to be in this format otherwise it won't work then create new folder and then go inside that folder and create another folder called Acme Challenge. And create the folder. Again, go inside of this folder. So now we need to place those two files we downloaded in here. So just go to Upload, Select File, and then go to your Downloads folder. And this is what I found in my Downloads folder. and just select the two files. You need to select uh, one by one, so open. Then again, select file and the second one. Nice, and then click on back once you have both. And now you see there's two files in your folder. And you can just delete these files once you're done with this tutorial. I would keep the folder just because you'll need it in 90 days. So let's go in the SSL generator and if we come here and click on these two links, so just right click on it, open a new tab, same thing here for the second one. If you see a page like this, when you see this verification code for both of them, that means it's working. So it's recognizing that this file is actually on your server and that means that you own the domain. All right, let's close this up. Now, if for some reason this part doesn't work for you, you see a 404 error or something like that, what you can try is you go back to your file manager and then right click on this and rename it and add the t.txt at the end, rename a file, and now try again. You come here, click on this, and it should work that way. For some people, this helps. And I know people that didn't have this issue are like this. Come back. That means we are ready to verify the domain. So let's click on the verify domain button. Now this might take uh, anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute and it will verify that you actually own the domain. And now you can see here, your SSL certificate is generated. Just keep in mind that this certificate will expire in 90 days. Awesome, we have the certificate now. So now we can just go and install it on GoDaddy. So now I like to download these files. So I'll just click on this button. It's just in case you don't need it right now, but I like to just have them in on my computer. And then what you need to do is come here and you need to select all. So you can do that uh, by pressing Control A or Command A on Mac. And then copy. And now we're gonna go to cPanel. And here at the top, you can search for SSL. Now, if you click on SSL and on this page, click on manage SSL sites. And if you scroll down, I have a lot of uh, test uh, domains here. You can see that you can select the domain. So I'm going to select the right one. And now we're going to copy paste the certificate we just copied from the generator and paste it here. One thing here is you need to notice that this this has actually two certificates in one. So you need to actually cut this one. So you can see that it has this beginning end. So at the end, you just cut the rest, cut, and you place it here in the last field. All right, let's go back to the generator and we select everything in the private field and copy it. And now go back here. And now in the private key field, we paste everything. So at this point, if you have any errors, you'll see them here next to these fields. But you can see there's nothing red here, so that's good. And then if I click on install certificate, you can see that it tells you, all right, you have successfully configured SSL, and these are the domains or variations of the domain that this gets applied to. Also here, www. Then click on OK. And if we go to the website, now you can click here and just add HTTPS and your domain name. 
And now you can see you have this padlock and that means your website is fully secured and it has the SSL certificate installed correctly. Isn't that great, buddy? Don't call me buddy, pal or sweetheart. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. Now you might have noticed that if you type in HTTP in front of your domain, you still get the not secured. To avoid this, we need to redirect all the users from HTTP to HTTPS and this way, even if somebody tries to reach the not secured site, they will be automatically redirected to HTTPS, which is the secured one. Now the problem is, if it's still HTTP, if somebody comes to your site with HTTP, it will still give you this error. So what you can do is simply, let's go back to cPanel and here, instead of this window, let's go to File Manager. And if you go back here, and again back until you see all these folders here. And please note, I'm in the root folder for this domain. You should see this HD access file. Now, if you don't have it, you can just create it by coming here, clicking on the file and just dot HD access. But in most cases you should have it. Then just right click on it and edit. And if you didn't see that file, just remember that you need to enable the hidden files in the settings at the top. Here you'll see a bunch of code, but we're not interested in it, just leave it. Just come to the bottom of this page and then you'll need this code, which I will put in the description. So don't worry, you need to, don't even need to write it and just place it here. Like this, just at the bottom and then save changes. And in summary, here is what the code does. <laughs> From lab to the four wins. And now if we open up a new private window, and just use the HTTP of our domain name, you'll see that it will redirect automatically to HTTPS and then you have the paddle log. To renew this SSL certificate, just set a calendar reminder to do this every 87 days and just redo the whole process except the HT access file part. You don't need that. You just need to install that once. Awesome. Your website should be now fully secured for 90 days but if you have any issues, let's take a look at the most common ones that people have with this installation. Now, just in case, if you see something like this where you have an exclamation mark with a padlock or something like that, this is called a mixed content warning and you can just check it by right clicking anywhere on your site and choosing inspect element. This works in all browsers. And here you just go to the console tab and here you'll see that loading mixed display content, blah, blah, blah. So this kind of issues, you can see that actually this image is loaded with HTTP. So you need to change that to HTTPS. And I have a detailed video about this and you can uh, check it for WordPress and normal websites and, and both of them will be in the description. So don't worry, in about five minutes, you'll get this sorted. And also, if you have any other issues, I have a blog post about it. It's been live for about three years. So there's a lot of things that users like you have reported and I've added them here. So if you have any issues, just check this page and maybe there's a resolution to your problem. My name is Robert. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff. Make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Since your website is secured now, next, let me show you the must have plugins for WordPress website that help with SEO, speed and security. Or in the second video, I'll explain how to write articles that rank on Google. Whoosh.